In August 2025, when most tech outlets were busy discussing another round of interim iPhone updates and scandals around component supplies for Vision Pro 3, a barely noticeable entry appeared in the U.S. Patent Office Bulletin. Apple had received a patent for an electronic device with a glass body and a flexible display capable of switching its viewing side when flipped. The official wording sounded dry and unclear, almost technical, and for that reason the news passed unnoticed by most media. But this patent, as sources in several major analytical agencies now claim, may become a turning point in the company's strategic course. At first glance, the document described only a variation of the long-discussed transparent display concept, but specialists familiar with Apple's internal developments insist that this patent is part of a much broader program that Cupertino has given priority status. According to journalists at Nikkei Asia, the information, and researchers from CounterPoint Research, Apple has spent the past 1.5 years forming a closed initiative focused on creating a new generation of fully transparent devices, iPhone, iPad, and even MacBook, built in glass bodies where the boundaries between screen, enclosure, and interface disappear entirely. Several employees previously working in the display engineering group who agreed to speak anonymously say that the first iteration of Apple's transparent computer is already undergoing final tests and may be introduced in 2026 if engineers manage to complete calibration of the hybrid display module that allows the device to adapt to any ambient lighting. The turning point lies in the fact that Apple at the official level almost never speaks about radical innovation. Over the past 10 years, the company has regularly updated existing device lines, improved cameras, processors, and materials, but no fundamental breakthroughs comparable to the 2007 iPhone or the 2010 iPad have occurred. Bloomberg intelligence analysts note that the stagnation effect has become noticeable even within Apple's own ecosystem. Yes, sales are growing, services are breaking records, capitalization is impressive, but users are increasingly expressing disappointment over the lack of something truly new. And here a paradox emerges. Apple has an enormous reserve of trust and one of the strongest brands on the planet. But if the company does not present something truly revolutionary in the coming years, it risks losing its status as a technological leader, giving way to companies rapidly rising on the wave of artificial intelligence. Google, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, all of them are actively integrating AI into their products, investing billions of dollars into language models and distributed computing. Apple, however, according to MIT Technology Review, has effectively fallen out of the race. Its solutions in AI are perceived by the market as late, and its proprietary models lag behind competitors in power and flexibility. That is why, as sources at Fast Company and Wired claim, Apple leadership is increasingly discussing the need for a technological comeback, a presentation of product lines that will make the world talk about the company again as an industry flagship, rather than a stable corporation capable only of updating existing products. And in this logic, transparent devices look like an almost perfect tool. Several of today's trends converge in one point. Demand for revolutionary form factors is growing, users are tired of monotonous rectangular electronics, and tech giants are searching for ways to stand out from one another. Such products are precisely what could change the perception of Apple and return the company to the popularity of the era when any of its announcements became a global event. According to data available to journalists at 9to5 Mac and Tech Radar, the most likely candidate for a 2026 announcement is a transparent Mac. This is not a concept or a distant plan, but a real physical device that exists in Apple's laboratories and has already gone through three generations of prototypes. One display technology expert who wished to remain anonymous said that Apple is testing a hybrid OLED module based on a new type of glass substrate matrix. This panel can display images with varying depth and transparency depending on the viewing angle and the intensity of external lighting. Rumors say the device will feature a 14-inch transparent display with a full blackout mode, triple-layer glare protection, and an integrated microlens system that allows the user to see the image only at a specific angle, creating a controlled privacy effect. Some sources claim that the interior will use an experimental M5T series chip, 
a modified version of the upcoming Apple M5 optimized for multi-layer transparent matrices. Engineers are also testing a miniature continuum cooling engine, a completely silent thermal circulation module that uses liquid helium properties to dissipate heat. Foreign analysts emphasize that Apple is close to creating a device that could potentially become the most discussed laptop of the decade. According to specialists from Display Supply Chain Consultants, the transparent Mac is currently undergoing commercial viability evaluation, and the company must decide in the coming months whether the product is ready for mass production. Apple is now running a series of final stress tests, calibrating panel transparency during abrupt lighting changes, checking the glass chassis for resistance to micro deformations, and assessing the hybrid display's power consumption at maximum brightness. All of this indicates serious intent. No one outside the closed labs knows exactly what the final product will look like, but leaks provide several hints. A glass monolith, no visible bezels, nearly imperceptible edges, a touch panel built directly into the lower section of the body, and dual-side display technology that allows the device to switch the active screen side depending on spatial orientation. Some experts believe Apple may introduce a spatial transparency mode for the first time, allowing the user to interact simultaneously with physical objects and a virtual interface. If these rumors prove true, the transparent Mac will become the first device where an AR interface is built directly into the body itself without specialized glasses or headsets. Against this backdrop, 2026 becomes potentially decisive for Apple. It will be a moment of truth, a year in which the company will either regain its status as a technological leader or fully enter a phase of comfortable stagnation, relying on existing product lines and services. Too much is at stake. User trust, internal team morale, the reputation of an innovative brand, and the ability to compete in an era of rapid AI development. Apple is in a position where it needs not just a new product, it needs a new chapter in its corporate history, a new starting point after which the company will no longer seem like it is catching up but leading again. And judging by insider activity, leaks, patents, and how often the closed transparent Mac is mentioned in expert circles, Cupertino clearly understands that the moment for a comeback is now, and delaying is no longer an option. That is why many analysts believe that if the transparent Mac really appears in 2026, it will not just be a product, it will be a statement. And what is especially notable is that, according to several experts from IDC's European division, the very structure of the rumors surrounding the transparent Mac is very different from the usual information waves that typically accompany Apple's upcoming devices. Normally, leaks appear chaotically. One blogger posts a spy photo, another shares a questionable chassis sketch, others publish renders based on guesses. However, in the case of the transparent computer, information is arriving in an unusually synchronized and, as analysts note, too tidy manner. This creates the impression that Apple is deliberately allowing controlled leaks, testing market reactions, and preparing the audience for a product that does not officially exist yet. More and more analysts agree that Apple is entering a new cycle, one that should restore the company's reputation as a visionary and give the world a sense of technological wonder that has been missing for the past 10 years.